Islington Green ages. School was trashed by Ofsted well, and, 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 and it was a good school with good teachers and, and, and doing very di well in difficult circumstances. Yeah, I well. lived near to Osborne Osborne actually in Hackney yeah. and, and, and it was a similar well, school I probably. Taught, I taught in the London Education Authority yeah. for 14 years. Yeah. I worked not very far away from Islington Green in Hackney yeah. in the 70s. You know. No one can tell me, having worked in, in Ilia schools, in the 70s and 80s, the standards were high. They were, they were terrible. And lots of poor children were failed miserably <coughs> in those decades, in London and elsewhere. And I'll tell you why they were failed. They were failed because the system was not accountable enough. Yeah, there were some great teachers, and I worked with many of them in inner London education. We deserve better. But you became, and it's being made less accountable. That's Tech City, which you might have had something to do with. Tech, Tech City is a free 16 to 18 free school, which is just had Ofsted in last two weeks ago. Yeah. And, 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 and I've been involved with the school because I'm a union representative for yeah. the area. Yeah. The school was set up against the opposite, with the op in against the NUT's opposition, but the school was set up as a, a free, free school. school yeah. As a free school. Yeah. Islington Sixth Form College was a yeah. Sixth Form College just round the corner, yeah. and we saw it. The Sixth Form College saw it as a threat. Right. Now that school has been a complete failure. The, the, the people who sponsored the school were Mickey Mouse incompetent people, mm. and I'm saying that not because I'm opposed right. to free school. They just okay. didn't know how to run a school. Right. Now who what? got blamed for it? Who got blamed yeah, for it? The teachers were blamed for it. And it wasn't that. the teachers no, who were It's fault. funny you it should. Was, what's your on, name, by the way? Ken. Ken. Well, it's funny you should say that, Ken. Yeah. Is because if you look at the latest letter that I have written to the Secretary of State for Education about academies that are not done well, all right? I've got into a lot of trouble with the department over that. Huh? Yeah, I accept you, that. You yeah, will yeah. see that I have tried to be even-handed yeah, yeah. to say that there are academy chains that are not doing well for particularly poor children. All right? Now, that was a very uncomfortable thing to do given, given what this government is trying to do, but I did it. All right? Now, it's up to Ofsted, Joe. It's up to Joe. To, to be fair to the system, to say there are some local authorities that do well, there are some academy chains that don't do well. There are some free schools that do well, there are some that don't. And to balance, to balance those issues. And that's what I try and do all the time. But what Ofsted does, and whatever your motivation yeah. is, Michael, yeah. the fact is Ofsted is the male fist of government education policy, and you're able to force through all sorts of education policies yeah. which are not benefiting yeah. Working class children. They're actually they're, they're actually our, bad for working our class. Job, and, and because teachers are so scared of you, our they job have is to, not to make have policy. To buckle our, and do what you our want job them to is do. not to make policy. Our job no. is to make sure but you enforce that children it. get a good You deal. enforce it. You enforce the policy. And as somebody who's worked in tough schools yeah. for most of my yeah. life, I resent the implication but that, if, we're, uh, that I don't stand up for children. If it rights. wasn't off, if it wasn't for Ofsted, teachers wouldn't have wouldn't have had to f accept. The, the government education policies that have been imposed, which have been bad for children. And to, to well, say that because exam results have improved, we know why exam results have because because they've been, they've, they, the teachers have had to, well, you know, you know I I mean, when, I, when I, I was told, yeah. I was told when I first, well, by my head of history, when, when SACS test came in, give them, a, give them a low grade in year six. Because if you don't give them a low grade in the year, a low, low level in year six, well, then done. then you won't be able to show progress. Well, and, but that happens the whole time. That that, that yeah. happens the whole time. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Well, I'm, all I'm saying is, the culture of fear within teaching. Many many years can see that things are far from great, but they're a lot better now than they were 20 years ago. They're not better than they were 20 years. They're not better than they were. They're not better than they were. I taught. I taught very near where you taught. Yeah, taught in Hackney. I taught in Birmingham. But I can't understand the difference between exams and education. You know, you're taught in some new writing places. I teach. I teach a history lesson, and a kid comes into my lesson and says, "I went to a castle on 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 over the weekend." And wants to talk. I said, "Oh, we can't talk about that now because we've got to we've got to get on with the you know what we've been told." We've well, got to do, and 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 the whole. Well, we'll probably never agree, but all I, all, what you can't accuse me of is not having a perspective going back many, many years. Now things are far from great, but they're better than they were. Oh they're not better. I've than got to go. Were. All those in favour of scrapping off stage, say aye. 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 <laughs> See you, Michael. See you, Michael. <laughs>